The theme for the May contest is Vanishing Point. The judge is Michael Lillis. My name is Michael Lillis, and I've been interested in photography since being a preteen. I have belonged to the Photographic Guild, a photo club in the Detroit area, for several years, and have been president for the last two years. I'm also a member of PSA and have competed in many international competitions. Currently, I have five stars in the projected image division. My approach to judging an image is based on three or four different criteria. The first is interest or impact, the second is composition, and the third is technique. If the competition has a theme or an assignment, then the fourth criteria comes into play when scoring an image. In the case of your competition, there is a theme, vanishing point. After I evaluate the image based on the above, I then adjust the score on how well the photographer has followed the theme. If the image is weak on the theme, I deduct a point. If it is strong, I add a point. We'll start with the beginners. A shortcut home, nine points. This image does not have much interest or impact, mainly because the subject, a small child, is so small in the image. The maker would do well if the image was cropped much tighter to eliminate much of the sky and some of the foreground. The image looks sharp and the exposure is good. The image is very weak in meeting the theme. It's all Greek to me. Ten points. This image has some interest, but it is diminished by the angle at which it was taken. The maker would have done better if he or she moved to the left to try to capture more detail along the right wall. The bright sky is very distracting. I would suggest the image be cropped to a vertical image to eliminate much of the sky. The image is sharp, the exposure is good, and it does a good job in meeting the theme. Stay between the lines. Honorable mention and 11 points for Debbie Kennard. The maker's done a good job in following the theme with this image. The image is composed nicely and it appears sharp, but it also seems in low contrast. What is hurting this image the most is the sky. The maker would be advised to have taken the image on a better sky day or to replace the sky in Photoshop with a better sky. Bridge to Nowhere, third place and 12 points for Jim Walsh. This image has interest, like the detail in the walkway and the structure of the bridge. It is well composed and I would not suggest cropping it at all. I believe the maker could have recovered more detail in the shadows with Photoshop, which would have helped this image and gotten a point higher score. Also, as in the previous images, the white sky is distracting and lowers the score. The maker has done a good job in following the theme with a the view down this walkway. Five of six boat buoys, second place and 13 points for Mary Jean Blevins. The maker has done a good job in capturing an interesting and colorful subject. I believe the image would be helped if a portion of the bottom were cropped off, giving it more of a panorama layout. For the most part, the image is sharp, is sharp, although a little soft in the background. It is nicely exposed. As far as the theme, it's a little weak on the vanishing point. Generally speaking, in our photo club, we do not accept the maker's name on an image and would disqualify it. I don't know if your photo club allows it or not. Heaven Bound. First place and 15 points for Robin DeRuin. The maker has done an exceptional job in creating this image. It has interest and impact. The composition is good, and technically it is exposed well, with a nice sky. The image also does a good job of meeting the theme. Moving to the intermediate group. Driving dangerously, eight points. This image has little interest or impact other than a lot of bridges crossing the road, and it is something seen every day if you live in a metro area. The composition could be made better by cropping a quarter off the top and a quarter off the bottom. I believe the image is a little underexposed and is also weak in meeting the theme. Timber Truss Bridge, 8 points. In my opinion, this image does not meet the theme. It's an interesting image and composed nicely. Technically, I believe the image is oversaturated and too much detail is lost in the shadows. The maker could improve this greatly by reducing the saturation using the highlights, shadow function, and Photoshop to bring out the details in the shadow. The Space Between, 9 points. 
This is an interesting image only because of the green vegetation between the trees. My only question is why is it so blurry? Was the wind blowing or has the maker tried to cover up something with the clone tool? The composition is good and it meets a fair amount of the theme. For the most part the image is sharp with the exception of the green vegetation. Green Tunnel, Nine Points. This image meets the theme very well and is interesting. The composition is good and the exposure is as well as can be expected under the conditions. The image could be improved if it had less noise and some of the shadows were lightened. Midnight Chrysler, Ten Points. Here is a very creative image designed around the theme. The image would have scored better if only the middle third of the image was used. There's just too much dead space on the top and the bottom. The image does a fair job in meeting the theme. A Stroll Through the Gauntlet of Mentality 11 points. This is another very creative image and has interest and impact. The composition is well done, the exposure is good, but it could be sharper. One of the issues with this image that bothers me is the bright lower and upper left corners. The brightness draws your eye away from the subject, which is in the center of the image. The image does a good job in meeting the theme. Granny's Train, Columbus, Texas. 11 points. The image might have scored higher if done in color. The image could be improved if the upper left side was not so dark. The composition is good, but the bridge structure appears to be tilted slightly to the right, and it would have scored a point higher if the bridge was straight. It also appears that the maker has darkened some corners slightly, which helps the image, and it meets the theme nicely. Serenity. Honorable mention in 12 points for James Haynes. This is an interesting image of a stream running through a park. It meets the theme nicely. The composition is good, as well as the exposure. The image is sharp and nicely done. Walking the Tracks. Honorable mention and 12 points for Brian Prestman. This image has interest and impact. The composition could be improved if some of the right hand side was cropped off. The image is well exposed, sharp, and it meets the theme. Underneath. Third place and 13 points for Chris Cahill. This image has interest and impact. It's nicely composed and exposed fairly well. It would have scored another point higher if the lower portion of the image were not so dark. The image does meet the theme. Amsterdam Canal, second place and 14 points for Charlie Hinkle. This image is very interesting, something we don't see every day. It's composed well, exposed nicely, and is sharp. The image meets the theme fairly well. I would suggest the underside of the first bridge be lightened with the shadow function in Photoshop and that the sky be darkened slightly. Park and Ride. First place and 15 points for Don Champlin. The maker has done a great job in creating an image that has interest, impact, and is composed nicely and exposed perfectly. The only recommendation I would have is to darken the lower corners slightly. Moving to the advanced category, Power Towers, 10 points. This is an interesting approach to the theme Vanishing Point. I believe the image would have scored better if the composition included a portion of the ground so that the towers are grounded. The exposure is good, although some of the detail is lost in the distant towers. But I think that's more a matter of climate conditions than what the photographer could have done. Sea of Freedom, 10 points. This image has a lot of impact with the flags, but the composition could be improved with a vertical format and if the maker would have shot the image closer to the ground. The image is well exposed and sharp, but the portion that meets the theme is a very small percentage of the whole image. Looking for Daddy, 10 points. This image could have impact if the photographer had the child in focus as well as the flag. The composition is average. I would not include the headstone and flag in the lower left corner and would crop out some of the foreground grass. Never forget, 
11 points. This image could have scored higher and had more impact if the sky was blue with some white clouds. The white sky draws your eye away from the subject and is very distracting. The image could be composed better if much of the sky was cropped out. With Photoshop, the image could be warmed up a little bit and that would also improve it. Texas Hill Country, 11 points. The wildflowers along this dirt road make for an interesting image. The image is well composed with the road leading off to the right and providing a good vanishing point. Exposure is good and the image is sharp. I would like to see more detail in the sky and it could be made a little bluer. I would also recommend darkening the corners a little bit to draw the eye into the center of the image. Gone Around the Bend, 11 points. Another good image using the theme vanishing point. The image is interesting, but it lacks impact that would score it higher. If the image included someone walking down the tracks, it would greatly improve it. It is well composed, and the maker did try to minimize the sky, which helps keep your eyes on the tracks. Facade. The maker's done a good job in taking an ordinary subject and making it interesting, and at the same time fulfilling the theme. The composition is good, although I would crop a little off the bottom. I don't think that the lower right corner helps this image. The image is exposed perfectly with a proper amount of contrast and sharpening. Tracks, 12 points. This image does include a subject down the tracks. It would be nice if the train was closer and was the main subject. Under the pier, honorable mention and 13 points for Steve Sutton. The maker took advantage of the sun being low in the sky and was able to create this dynamic looking image. The image is composed nicely, but it is weak on the theme. One of the items that makes this image is the detail in the understructure of the pier and the maker was able to bring this out of the shadows. Bailey's Tunnel. Honorable mention and 13 points for Marie Hansen. The photographer did well in composing this image and shooting it at the angle that he or she did. Timing was good as the maker was able to capture two people just as they entered the moving walkway. The exposure is good as is the contrast and sharpness of the image. I would suggest darkening the corners just slightly, especially on the left hand side. Golden View, third place and 14 points for Ming Lu. This shot of the Golden Gate Bridge is very well done. It has interest and provides a dynamic view. The image is well composed and exposed correctly. It meets the theme very well and it's a good image. I would suggest that the corners be darkened to draw your eye into the center of the image. Looking back, second place and 14 points for Jim Shannon. Here we have interest and impact with a child standing at the rail looking down the tracks. The image is well composed, although I would rather see a little less sky and a little more of where he's standing. Although the image is sharp, the white sky is distracting. Sculpture in Richardson. First place and 15 points for Linda Graham. I picked this image for first place in the advanced group because it meets all of my criteria. It is interesting, dynamic, nicely composed, well exposed, and sharp. Plus the gold against the blue sky works well and it meets the theme. I have but one suggestion and that would be to darken the corners at the top of the image. That will draw your eye into the subject which is the tower. Moving on to the master category. Cabin in the Woods, 9 points. Although this is an interesting image, it has several drawbacks. If the trees did not block the view of the cabin, it would be more interesting. I guess the subject is the cabin, and it is off-center, and that's good. I do question showing the stream in the image because it is competing with the cabin as the subject. The image is well exposed and sharp. The path leading to the cabin does not meet my interpretation of a vanishing point. Rail Yard, 
nine points. In this image, the tracks distract me as to where to look. One moment I'm following the tracks down to the rail car, then the next moment I'm looking at the tracks that go off to the left. It would be better if the tracks could merge further on down to make it a vanishing point. I don't feel that they meet the theme. The haze or cloudiness in the background distracts from this image, as well as the foreground not being very sharp. Last scene near the tracks. 10 points. I'm guessing that this image is an infrared shot, and an interesting one at that. The tracks create a vanishing point and the people walking down the tracks helps the image. The biggest drawback to this image is that it's too busy. The image would have scored higher if that were not the case. The maker appears to have darkened the corners which draw your eye to the center of the image and the subjects and that is good. Early morning in Ennis. 10 points. What this image needs is something coming down the road. It is a nice landscape and it meets the theme, but again the sky is distracting and the image is not as sharp as I would like to see it. It appears that it had rained recently and that may be the cause for the blurriness in the background. If the maker could have come back when the sun was out, I think the image could be scoring higher. What's around the bend? 11 points. As with other shots of train tracks, this image needs something coming down the tracks to give it more interest or impact. The tracks alone are not a strong subject. I'm not sure why the maker included so much space on the left hand side, maybe it was to include the flowers, but I would like to see more on the right hand side which would have put the curve of the tracks left of center and I believe that would improve the composition. If you ever plan. 11 points. Images taken like this never seem to measure up to what you really see when you're there, regardless of how good the photographer is. This nice landscape is a perfect example of a vanishing point. Although the car on the road is far away, it still helps the image. The image is well composed with the road starting off on the left and going to the center. Colors seem realistic. It's unfortunate that the background is in the haze, but that's the way it is most of the time, I believe. The image is well composed and sharp where it needs to be. I would like to see the upper corners darkened a little. Sunset at St. Michael's Mount, 11 points. It's unfortunate that the water is covering the path to St. Michael's. It would have made a nice vanishing point image. I would suggest the maker improve this image by cropping the top and the bottom and creating a panorama. Another improvement would be to darken the corners to draw your eye into the center of the image. Heading for downtown Dallas. 11 points. This image has two subjects, the road to the left and the bridge on the right. I believe the image would have scored better if the maker had selected one of the two subjects for this image. My preference would have been the bridge. It is nicely lighted and with a tall building in the background would make a nice image. This image is exposed nicely and is sharp, and the maker has done a good job with this night shot. Into the morning fog, 11 points. This is a very interesting image with the fog rising off the ground and with a blue sky above. If this image had a better vanishing point, it would have scored higher. The composition is nicely done with the trees on the right in the foreground and the trees on the left off in the background. I personally would have darkened the corners to draw your eyes into the center of the image. Vanishing Glasses Honorable mention and 12 points for Jose Artiles. The maker has created a very interesting image to illustrate the theme vanishing point. The composition is nicely done with the goblets drifting off to the right. I think I would prefer to have a little less blank space on the top of the image and also to have something on the bottom which would ground the goblets so that they would not seem to be suspended in space. Canal of Caddo. Honorable mention and 12 points for Lee Hatfield. This is a beautiful image, but it is lacking in a strong subject. It would have been nice if there were a boat or an alligator in the canal, something to draw your eye to. The composition is well done, as is the exposure. 
The maker was able to take this picture on a beautiful day having a blue sky in the background and that always helps an image. The canal fits the theme nicely and the image is well done. In the Cathedral, third place and 13 points for Ron Hasty. This image has interest and impact. The one drawback on this composition is the columns tilting forward. This could have been corrected in Photoshop and would have greatly improved the image and its score. The image is exposed perfectly and is very sharp. The poppies go on and on. Second place and 14 points for Lois Lehman. The red poppies make this a very dynamic image and the fence going from left to right does create a vanishing point. The image is well composed and is very sharp. The only thing that bothers me with this image is the post on the far left. I wish it were straight. Tunnel Vision, first place and 15 points for Danette Volkmer. The maker has done an excellent job with this dynamic image and it's very creative. The image has many different lines going to the vanishing point and having the vanishing point slightly off to the right is much better than if it were centered. Having people in the image also improves it. The exposure is excellent, the image is sharp, and it's very creative and well done. Best of show is Park and Ride by Don Champlin. The photographer of this image did an outstanding job of creating this nighttime image. Not only was the image exposed perfectly, the maker was also able to capture the moon and a star. The image has interest and is dramatic with the concrete structures. It meets the theme very well and I'm sure a lot of thought went into taking this shot. There is one thing that could make this image even better and that would be a single red car parked there. There were many excellent images in this competition and I congratulate the winners. Those that did not do that well suffered from a couple of negative conditions. First, having a bright white or gray sky, which is very distracting. Second, the image must be a strong subject, composed in the frame to the best advantage with correct technique, and that is not over or underexposed, saturation looking natural, good contrast, and a sharp image. Then it must meet the theme. On several images, the makers took the opposite approach. They first took the shot thinking of the theme and forgot about having a subject that is interesting. Thank you for the opportunity to judge your competition and I hope my comments were constructive.